the Mavericks. Oh, How much is too? I'm about to. We about to get them shirts. Man. Too, too, too much in one sitting. Don't hit girls back. I've been whispering in my son here. Go hit her back. Yeah. Hit her. She hit you. You hit her back. And that's why you got to stay away from males. You that's got why to, you got to stay in a woman's got, place. You got to separate. That's why you stay don't live. Place. Place. That's why you don't live. Uh, you quiet and don't talk back to a man because all the women before me that I saw gracefully, those were those kind of women. Her grace and 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 and, and, and her her essence of a woman will shut his motherfucking ass up. When the essence of a real woman come around, niggas pull their pants up, say, man, don't do that in front of her. It's man. naturally what we've done it because her presence of a woman, a bitch won't get that response. Man. That was a bitch. All get back and forth with a man. I want to watch my mama remove herself out of the presence of a disrespectful boy playing like he a man. Wouldn't even respond to him. But a bitch got something to say back. A woman removes herself. It's certain things that a lady ain't go do. And when a lady walk into a room, men straighten up. I... Mm -hmm. Hey, gotta say. Mm -hmm. Hey, bruh tells no lies. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Brandy, would you like to open up the conversation? Well, I'll say this from, from what he was saying in the beginning. I'm a boy mom, and I do believe, first of all, a woman should keep her hands to herself. Absolutely. We know mm -hmm. that a man is more stronger than us and everything, so I, I'm a boy mom. You... you you hit him, I really feel like, yeah, you get bopped upside your head, you deserve that. Keep your hands to yourself. It also, at the same time, we have uh, the law and shit that's out here. And when a man, whether uh, she hits him first or whatever, when a man hits him, you know, hits her back, and she get that phone, that man eventually is what? Going where? To jail. to jail. To the bank. You're going to jail now. <laughs> so going that's why jail. my advice yeah. is driver. my advice is call your mama. Yeah. I'm gonna beat that with a bottle. Hey. So yeah, but um I I'm an advocate for that. Keep your hands to yourself, ladies. For sure. I'm with that shit too. I got boys and girls. I tell my daughter Same. to leave my they brother um. alone. I tell my they my sons to leave their daughters alone. Y'all protect each other. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think about the the difference in comparison that he was Unless making? Unless he cheat on you. He cheat on you, girl. You b beat that motherfucker's ass. Hey. Okay. Hey. I just feel like. Hey, Brandy. <laughs> you just said keep your hands to yourself. I said unless he cheat on you. You can't, can't be no unless. You just, just said, thought about it. My bad. He knows. <laughs> I just feel like he didn't have to start that point the way he did with the. You hit that motherfucker back. Like he could have still made that point with saying the essence of a woman. I think you he don't got clipped like that. Okay, see, I don't know. But I was just gonna say, because I feel like he is the king of great points but piss poor presentation. But you know what? It's mm -hmm. the piss poor presentation that, that makes it. that make I was us watch. That make you, yeah, that mm -hmm. make you watch him. And he didn't say that a million times yeah, in his I normal interview. Have y'all ever seen a normal yes. Charleston White interview? Yes, and I also seen his background and what he like really yeah, stood for and activists. how he was moving yeah. and it wasn't going nowhere for him. And now he doing this and he has the money to really make a difference. And I was like, okay. But have y'all though? Has it, it, everybody seen an actual real Charleston where he's not? He don't have mm -hmm. the character on and he's not acting. I seen him when he was on the news. Um, as a person and not that character. Yeah, Polo tucked in, speaking properly. But you know how it is. It's I like know the difference. we gravitate to the bullshit. Yeah. Or, but he, the way he compared it was, you know, whenever you talk to your child and you be like, "Hey, can you please pick that up? Can you get that? Can you can you stop doing that?" When you like that with a child, you know, they kind of go on about their business and do. But the moment you be like, hey, sit your motherfucking ass down before I. Then you get. Uh, so that's what he compared to. Yeah. It make a lot of sense. But what do y'all think about the comparison? And like, because what he talking about the bitch, what he mean is a woman with masculine energy. He could have said mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? He I didn't mean. have to necessarily but but what y'all what y'all think about the comparisons in people? We've all dealt with different types of women and men through the years, you know what I'm saying? Um so listen, I just I all feel like it all stems from trauma. Like you're gonna meet some people who have tendencies to have more masculine energy because they had to, like the way they mm -hmm. the way they came up, they might have had to be like a stronger <clears throat> person so they're not in their feminine 
and well, they don't really know that side. So like, I just feel like you you gotta bring people around. <laughs> I feel like that's something you can change. If willing though, uh, absolutely. And some people, yeah. do. absolutely. Oh, but but again, I always feel like that just has to come from a sense of comfortability, bro. But let's speak into the differences. Because I, let's just imagine. Okay. okay, okay. It's two different types of women, mm -hmm. and they whole life one carried that rah rah rah, uh, fuck you, get in your face, uh, argue. You know what I mean? Yeah. Type of energy, and then the woman that he speak of who knows. When you know what I mean? Yeah, a woman that that can't submit, you can't partner with that. You can't build with that. How can you? Because like everything I do, you're going to second guess. <laughs> no, as far as all that go, hell no. Nah. Like, like you feel me? Like yeah, and like, then when I'm gonna tell you to do something, <clears throat> and we all come to a consensus that is good for the group, and you still do the what you want because you like. You just, you can't compromise. Like that's what I. That's what I feel like. Like those are the people who are like that. Like you just, they get, they're going to be single. I mean, they say it's somebody for everybody, but hey. I, I mean, but it's a respect thing. I feel. What you mean? Go ahead. Like, like a, a female gonna disrespect a male as much as he let her. Mm -hmm. And then they're kind of like vice versa for real. See, but that's where it be become a because. All right, Brandy. Let me, in a, a sense of an argument, what type of um, approach do you take? Like whenever you and Russell have like disputes back and forth. What do you mean? Like whenever y'all get into it and it's a back and How forth often argument. How are you submissive in the arguments with you and Russell? Now that's a deep ass question. Like, what you mean submissive? Nah. See, I didn't say submissive. <laughs> I just want to know the <laughs> you approach. Have a conflict for me. I just, uh, I just want to know what your approach okay, is yeah. in a um, dispute, a uh, normal back and forth with you and Russell. I can come to him and talk to him just like this, and I'm talking about in this type of tone and everything. Like, hey, you know, I, I ain't like when you did that. Like, that kind of hurt my feelings when you did the and shit. That motherfucker. Don't come in here yelling at me, nigga. I am talking to you in a regular ass voice. <laughs> like, what the? You crazy. You, you crazy. thought you like, was talking in a regular I, I, voice. No, like, for real. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. So, that shit, that's shit. gonna come up too. Like, <sighs> hey, like, man, that's hell? crazy. But, like, nah, for mm -hmm. In a heated situation, do you ever feel like, has it ever been, I'm not trying to get too deep in no, your business, but I keep it like real. in a heated back and forth, do you ever think to yourself, like, okay, let me file back to try to. Instead of going, rah, 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 or are you like, just me, like a. I feel like let me fall back because, shoot, it ain't get, getting nowhere. <laughs> let me fall back because it ain't getting nowhere. I'm about to go sit outside on the porch or, you know, go sit in my car again. And then next minute we back cool like ain't nothing happened. <coughs> Keeping it real. <coughs> Round of applause for motherfucking Brandy Daniel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Good therapy session. Thank you. <laughs> it was slight. Now, I, because when I seen that video, I'm like, damn. That kind of that kind of makes sense. He ain't all. He don't always say dumb shit. He just said. That's what I said. Just poorly. Extra fuck. I think too. The longer you with somebody, after a while, yeah, you get tired of all that damn arguing. And like I said, shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You know, and just walk away and shoot. Next minute, you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> you want to hit this blunt? <laughs> type shit, type shit. What you want to eat? What you want to eat? That shit be crazy. <laughs> so, <clears throat> 30 minutes later, motherfucker be cool as fuck. Like, no, man, what, what the fuck? For 